Hey YouTube, it's your girl Always Nigeria coming at you today with another video. Um, today's video is going to be dedicated to the HESI. Um, if you are in the nursing program, you're aspiring to be in the nursing program, you're just learning what steps you have to take for the nursing program, this is an assessment test, um, much like the T's, where you have to um, take an entrance exam, which is known as the HESI assessment or the T's, in order to see if you are eligible to get into a nursing program. Um, it was adopted about three to five years ago, I don't recall which um, exact year the HESI and the T's was put into place for you to be approved to get into the programs. However, no matter what your GPA is, if you fail the HESI or the T's, you will not be accepted into a nursing program. Um, there are different requirements for different schools, meaning most schools require you to have um, well, all schools require you to have reading comprehension and math. However, the different schools require different things as far as the sciences go. Some of these schools require you to have anatomy and physiology. Some of them also require you to have chemistry, but some of them require you to have one or the other. So it's just based on the school you're applying to. You would need to see what their requirements are. Um, just like with the reading comprehension, some schools only require you to have the reading comprehension, whereas some require you to have grammar and vocabulary as well. So you will want to check with your school as to which one of those you will have. And mostly all of the schools require you to have critical thinking. Um, some schools, the critical thinking is um, graded and some of the schools like my schools, uh, score was not graded, but it is taken into account when they look to see if they would want you into their program. Um, so without further ado, I will go ahead and get into my HESI assessment, which I got a cumulative score of 90%, which means that I, your girl Nigeria, got an A. Um, so I'm not going to go into detail about each subject. What I will do is go into um, short details about um, the test. That way I can make other videos for you guys based on what you need. If you need a video on the math, which I was required to take, which all schools are required to take, I can make a separate video going into details and even working out problems with you and for you. Um, if you needed uh, help with the reading comprehension, I will be able to assist you with that as well, um, along with anatomy and physiology. Now, my school only required anatomy, physiology, math, and reading comprehension, um, along with the critical thinking, which was not scored. Um, so... I don't have experience with the grammar and vocabulary, although I can say when it comes to the reading comprehension, you will want to know vocabulary just because um, the test will be asking you what certain words mean. They will also ask you things like, um, this word is a um, synonym of this word or which word is an acronym of this word. So you will want to know um, or this is another meaning of this word. So you will want to know um, grammar, or not grammar, sorry, vocabulary. Um, just like it'll ask you, what does this word in paragraph th th three mean? Um, so just make sure that you're not only knowing how to read, but you're also knowing the meaning of words um, because it will be on your test. Um, now, with the breakdown, I will say... The reading was 55 questions. It was supposed to be overall a test of three hours was our time limit at my school. So we got 60 minutes for um, math, 60 minutes for reading, 30 minutes for, uh, I believe, anatomy and physiology, or sorry, Yes, 30 minutes for anatomy and physiology, and then it was 10 minutes for each of the three sections of the critical thinking, which was not scored. Um, so back to reading, sorry. I'm not looking at a list. I'm kind of jumping around here, just trying to make sure that I get everything um, out in this video as an overall aspect of the HESI. 
Um, so with that being said, back to the reading comprehension. My reading comprehension um, had uh, reading comprehension was broken down into conclusions, meaning, word use, implications, and understanding. So, although there was a cumulative score, I got um, ninety percent in English language comp uh, composite score. So, for the reading comprehension part, I got ninety percent. However, for conclusions, I got sixty-seven percent, a hundred percent for meaning, word use, a hundred percent for implications, and eighty-four percent for understanding. So, overall was a 90% for the reading comprehension. Now, some schools take into account each of those subunits of the overall um, category. My school does not. You have to score a 75% in each category overall in order for you to um, be eligible, not to get accepted because my school is competitive. So if you just do the bare minimum and you get 75%, you probably want to retake it in order to have a competitive score along with the competitive GPA, which I have a competitive score and a competitive GPA. Um, so moving on to anatomy or sorry, back to reading. Um, they have several passages. Uh, I actually do have some of the passages that I have found actually after taking the exam and reading, you know, having the exam, um, I have gone over what the passages were. Um, I'm not sure which version of the test I took. I will go and look on Elsevier.com and look at my version so I'll know which version I took just in case any of you guys ask in the comments. Um, but what I can say is I do have some of the passages, so we'll get into that um, when I do a video strictly on reading. Next section I took was anatomy and physiology. It was only um, 30 minutes because there was only 30 questions. So you get a minute per question as you can pretty much calculate. Um, anatomy and physiology was not hard if you've taken anatomy and physiology one and two, um, which for my school, you had to have taken them prior to even registering for the HESI. So if you didn't have a passing grade of a C or better in anatomy and physiology one and two um along with english 120 and i believe that's it then you would not be um, eligible to even register for the hesse so you would have to go back and retake those classes and just an fyi they do look at how many times you've taken classes i believe for my school if you've taken a class four times you're not eligible to take the hesse ever at that school um, you may be able to take it somewhere else, but you're not able to take it at my school. Um, and some schools don't even allow you to take the HESI more than twice. So you might want to be mindful of that. And once again, go to your school and ask for the requirements. This was my first time taking it. Thank God it was my only time having to take it. Um, and once again, I will do a separate video going over in depth of anatomy and physiology. Um, as for math, it was 55 questions, 60 minutes, so not exactly um, a minute per question, but close enough. Um, and I will do a separate video on that. Um, and then, of course, I got a cumulative score over of 90%, and I'll let you guys see my scores. I don't know if you can, here's the chart that they give you. And then, sorry, those, there you go. Those are the scores. And just so you know that this is really me, there is my name, crossing out my last name, there's my name. So yes, it was really me. And I had three hours to take the test. I took the test in two hours, one minute and two seconds. Um, so yes, that's when I completed the test. So I had plenty of time left over. Um, what you do need to be mindful of is you cannot skip a question and go back. You cannot answer a question and go back. Once you click 
save and continue, you will not see that question again. It will not allow you to go back. If you skip a question, that's automatically wrong. If you don't take your time with a question and you just answer anything thinking you'll get back to it at the end, automatically wrong unless you picked right luckily because you can't go back so you want to be very mindful of that because if you just skip it around all of those that you skipped over or just randomly answered will be wrong if you did not luckily choose the right answer so be very mindful um i would hate to see someone fail just because they thought they could go back even though your proctor should ex um, explain to you that you cannot go back but just in case they don't, your girl got your back. Don't skip. Just try your hardest to work out the problem. If you cannot, try and take an educated guess by taking the ones that you just know for sure cannot be it and trying to subtract it that way until you get an answer that you feel comfortable with, at least as comfortable as you are going to get without knowing 100% the answer. Um, as far as everything else goes, um, they'll tell you how to pay for the exam. Now, my financial aid paid for the exam, even though my school said that it would not. Um, as long as you, like me, I went and registered for the exam myself online, even though the school tells you not to. You're supposed to come in the building and register. I also came in the building and registered. But since I registered online as well, um, my financial aid, when it cleared out my classes, it cleared out my uh, HESI exam as well. So it paid, for, paid the $50 for it. Um, there are HESI um, study groups for my school. I'm not sure about other schools, but I paid for it and never attended because the weather was bad. So schools kept getting canceled. I never got to even attend a study group. So that kind of sucks $65 down the drain, but whatever. That's neither here nor there. Um, also, here is one of the tools that I used. Yes, yes, yes. I highly recommend it. Um, it is the book by Elsevier. Those are the people who actually created the HESI exam. So I do recommend it. As you can see, I have little tabs of the um, categories that I had to take. Um, I do recommend for the math, even if you are good at math, just going through and working out the problems. Um, that's what I did. Um, and so I'm going to end this video here. What I can say is to those of you who want me to send you any type of study guides that I made as you can see I have an entire HESI study material folder that I simply created for myself um excuse that stuff excuse this stuff I have all type of materials that I've gone through and created sorry let me all this down a little bit I have practice problems I have all types of things that I've gone through and created I have packets sorry that I've printed off several of them with lots of practice problems as you can see I have all types of study material um, and then I have the AAP portion. Yes, I try to make things as cute as possible because, you know, that's just my learning style. I prefer things to look cute in order for me to truly focus on them. That may not be your learning style. It is mine. Um, and then here are the passages. There's an entire packet of reading passages. Um, yeah. So if you would like me to send you any of those, um, I definitely will. I will go ahead and make an email address um, and tell you guys to send it there. Send me um, an email. Shoot me an email. Leave it below in the comments stating that you would like me to send you the material. And I will. But there is a catch. You have to like, subscribe, comment. And then I'll send you the material. So, you can view it. You can view the uh, video. I want you to like the video. I also want you to comment below, either with a screenshot showing me that you have subscribed to my channel and you would like me to send you the material. Um, or you can just email me with the screenshot showing me that you subscribed. Because 
I want you guys to support me just like I'm going to support you guys in making these videos for you so that you can be successful and pass your HESI and get into your nursing program. So I want you ladies or gentlemen to support me as well and subscribe to my channel um, so that I can have subscribers. Um, and so that is the catch. That is all I'm asking. You do that for me. I will shoot you some of these study materials, whichever ones you ask for. I'll even help you um, to study if you need. So yes, once again, like, subscribe, comment, and share. Shoot me an email with the screenshot. Um, I will add my email address below, um, and I will also add it to the end of this video. So as always, nice talking to you. Okay, so yeah, just go ahead and drop that email to me if you guys want some of the study material. Um, or if you have any questions that you do not want to leave below in the comments, my email address for my YouTube channel is always a l w a y s dot or period n y g e r i a at gmail dot com. So if you don't want to leave a comment below regarding the HESI, um, then go ahead and email me and I will respond. Or you can also send me a screenshot saying that you've subscribed to me and you would like me to send you the information and I will do so. Or once again, you can just show me the screenshot down below and I will send you um, the information. Also, you would need to leave your email address. Um, so thank you, thank you, thank you. As always, like, subscribe, comment, and share. I'm here for you. I want you guys to be here for me. I want the support. I'm here to support you. So let's support one another.